As the fanfare suggests, this is a special day as the tower throws open its doors to the public once again. Good morning. Welcome to the Tower of London. Hello. Kind of brings it back to life. So we like the place, but when uh, there's no one around, it's a bit of a ghost town and, uh, and the stories of ghosts around here, we don't want to be here locked in all alone, you know what I mean? It may be one of the country's most iconic prisons, but it too has been held captive by recent lockdowns. Slightly overwhelming, but brilliant. Uh, it's just nice to be out and about, have people about, be around people really. I went with my primary school, so it was a really long time ago, and I remembered the jewels and something with a torture chamber. We asked one of the beef eaters, uh, and he said there were tw usually 20,000 people a day go around there. It's much, much quieter today. Bad things may have happened here in the past, but there is hope as its most famous residents have given birth to two new additions. Hello, Edgar. Hello, Branwen. How are you doing? Meet Edgar and Branwen. They're just starting to get used to the other ravens around here. They'll join the raven team, which, of course, a group of ravens is commonly known as a conspiracy. And when you see them all together on Tower Green, I think they're planning to steal the crown jewels, but watch this space. Anything can happen here, let's face it. But as legend has it, there must be at least six ravens always at the tower or the kingdom will crumble. Now there are nine, proving there is safety in numbers in more ways than one. Danny Sinha, Five News.